although the crappy weather continues, work on the Ford is on hold pending better weather. So starting on the next project, on my Dodge 1500 Sport Dodge Ram, I had a whoops. This thing broke. It snapped off right there on the hinge. That's the support that holds it level. So I just leave it closed now. This is now my drink holder. I've got a bungee cord going from the seat adjuster release thingy over to my four wheel drive shifter knob. And that holds my beverages in place. It holds my, I mean, it's pretty handy. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. But I've also got this going on, on my armrest. That's where I stick my elbow and uh, it pinches my skin if I'm not wearing a jacket or long sleeves. It's starting to become really super annoying. So, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna fix this, and I'm going to make a new armrest center console thing that also has cup holders in it, drink holders, and those will actually be more convenient than down lower. I gotta go to Harbor Freight and pick up some uh, very needed tools so that I can get this thing apart without breaking it. So, let's go to Harbor Freight. Raining like crazy, but let's do it. thing we're here for and get out of here. Right. Here we go. Auto trim and molding tool set. That's what we need. Yep. That's what we need. I think I just set a new personal best. I got out of there and only bought one thing. It's a miracle. I was just informed that I have a box waiting for me at home. It might be the other stuff that we need for this project. Um, I'm back with the tools we got at Harbor Freight, ready to start taking this apart. Um, the reason we got these is so that we can use these to try to pry off the plastic ring that goes around that actually conceals the hinge pin that's in this. We gotta get that off so that we can push that pin out and be able to remove the lid from the console. And then once we have it removed, we can do all the magic to it that we want, all the cool things I got planned. So let's see if we can get this thing off. And uh, you know, it's, it's kind of weird because I haven't dug down deep inside of this console in a very long time. I'm not sure what kind of treasures we're gonna find, so. Basically, this black rim just pulls off as one piece, and we'll see if we can get it to do it without breaking it. There's one. one for sure the rest look like they're intact so we're in business that's awesome 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 and now something to drive that pin out of there there we go uh, that's 
as far as a nail will push it through. Oh, I can just pull it out now. Like that. All right, let's make sure we keep track of the spring. That is really weird. Maybe a flashlight will shed some. Oh, pfft. all I have to do is let go of it and it falls out. That's just perfect. Anyway, got it. There's a little hook on the end of the part that goes down into the console itself. We'll have to see what's behind this pad and why that spring won't come out of the top. Maybe I don't want it to come out because it'd be just as hard to put back in. I don't know. Anyway, we got this thing apart. Let's take it to the house and we can work on it. Not in the truck. Let's do it. All right, now to just remove staples so that we can see what we've got to make a pattern out of. Let's see if we can get these staples out of here without hurting ourselves. That'll be the key. finger. Yeah. Time to peel it back and see what we got. Well, you can see where my elbow was going right there. Oh, that's handy. I have to try to save that. So I'm going to use this as a template to make myself a new one. And go from there. But I ordered some stuff. This is that box that I mentioned a while back. Finally getting around to opening it. Let's see what's inside this thing. Hopefully it's what I think it is. Oh yeah. So first and most important, cup holders from my new center console. Got two of them. You mounted like yo, like so, side by side. Awesome. And then there's this, and this is what I'm hoping will actually work for what I need. This is my second attempt at ordering the right thing. Oh gosh, if I can get it open. What the heck? There we go. That'll teach it. H&D Hide and Drink. I got this stuff all on Amazon. I'll have the links down below. Oh yeah, leather. Oh yeah, and it's long enough. That's perfect. This is gonna be great. Second attempt at ordering the stuff. This is a lot thicker material than this other stuff. I'm gonna have to find a special sewing machine to be able to stitch this stuff up. But it's black leather. The color very closely resembles what was already on there. That was the other goal. My basic plan, that's the button that opens the center console, so if it's like this, the cup holders will be here. This, and then I got enough leather to do this half, and enough leather to do that half, and then I'm gonna do a board down the middle that I'll drill holes out of for that. So it's kinda hard to visualize what I'm talking about, 
but let's build it. So I took my idea and my plan over to uh, one of my brother-in-laws. He used to work at Boeing, literally engineering and designing airplane, airplane parts, uh, brake fix on uh, components that wear out, that sort of thing. Brilliant guy. Kind of changed my plans just a little bit, but you know, I got some great insight on why something like even just this part right here happens. So I'm gonna share that with you. The reason that this happens is there's a structural breakdown below this foam structure. And what happened was this piece that was initially designed to, to stay in place and protect the fab or the foam from this grid, this had actually shifted over and it was about like that and you can see that that's right where my elbow was sitting and that's where the damage occurred and you can see well maybe you can see you can actually see it actually pressed into that foam backing so that's a problem we're gonna fix that I'm just gonna get like a plastic file folder or three ring binder that has that vinyl sheeting on the outside of it I'm gonna cut that to the exact size and tape it in place so that it will stay in place. That is more rigid than this to give it more structure so that it will protect the foam from the grid system. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is um, I've, I've decided that I'm just going to use this not, not as a template to make something new but actually as the backing for my new, uh, my new top that I'm going to put on there. Um, I'm actually going to sew directly to this. Um, the only part that's really broken down is this part here. It has the bead there to go in uh, as designed and stay in place. I might as well just take advantage of that structure because it's still there. And you can actually buy a new one of these and I'll put a link down below. The only place I can find it is on eBay, but I'll put the link to that down below. Um, hopefully if yours is more destroyed than this or if you opt to just simply replace the cover Put it all back together your your problem will be solved. You won't have this problem But make sure that you fix that structural integrity below so that you don't have this blowout problem again But that link will down, be down below. I'm gonna need some uh, leather stitching equipment tools uh, that sort of thing so Links down below, I'll put pictures on the screen for you to see what I've ordered. I've gotta wait for those parts to come in. But I'm gonna get this thing initially uh, put back together, and then we'll call this episode number one. We'll split this up into a couple different videos so that it doesn't get crazy long. Um, but check back for video number two, where I start actually building uh, my new console top. I, I want to get this back on the truck so that it's more secure and I just feel weird driving around and leaving my truck parked with all of my center console stuff exposed. So it just kind of just feels weird. So I'm going to get that back together. But thanks for watching. This is Troy with DIY Home and Auto. Check back for episode number two when we get a little more progress done on the center console. Appreciate you watching. Check the links down below. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure and share this with anybody who has this version of a Dodge and might have a center console that has a problem like that. Again, thanks for watching. Check you on the next one.